Three years ago, Chanel Lewis was sentenced to life in prison for the murder and sex abuse of Howard Beach jogger Karina Vitrano. Now as new lawyer, veteran civil rights attorney Ronald Gooby is pushing for the conviction to be tossed. Samples of DNA taken from uh, the body of Ms. Vitrano were sent to an unapproved laboratory. The laboratory banned for state use at the time is Parabon Labs, based in Virginia. It was permitted to do work for New York with their emerging forensic technology in 2020, only after the trial ended. It used a process called phenotyping, which infers someone's race through DNA collected at the crime scene. Kuby says the lab used illegally by the NYPD determined the race of the alleged killer was black or European. They focused uh, exclusively on, on African Americans. Attorney Kuby says that led to a racial dragnet in Queens. But the medical examiner ultimately ruled Lewis was a positive match. The NYPD did not respond to our inquiry about the allegation. However, a spokesperson for the Queens DA said Lewis was not approached as part of a systematic effort by the NYPD to obtain samples or in connection with any work done by Parabon Labs. It's quite a cover up here. Attorneys for the 27 year old say the laboratory DNA work has been withheld to this day. Lewis's mother, Vita, speaks to her son in state prison 280 miles away every day. I never lost over my faith. And I said, I know that my son is innocent. Anthony DiLorenzo, Lorenzo, PIX11 News. And when reached tonight, the Vetrano family telling PIX11 News that they are going to let this motion play out before commenting.